Hey everybody, welcome back to World History with Mr. Finn. Uh, as I said, we're going to do just a quick recap today uh, because the next class we are going to have a major test. So you are going to have a component of uh, a test like we normally do our quizzes, but you're also going to have a project-based part as well. Uh, and I have not yet determined how I'm going to do that. Um, last time we did images. This time we do a timeline uh, where you find dates about uh, particular uh, civilizations and topics that we've talked about. I think that's probably what we'll do, but uh, no notes or anything today. Um, I am uh, going to have you do this for me. I mean, I have to have something for participation and attendance purposes. Um, so what I'm going to have you do is just email me. Um, just email me this. Uh, recap day. You know, I need to take a picture. There's not really notes. You can even just email me just saying, hey, you know, <laughs> it's easy enough. Recap day. Because I'm just going to go over some things and I want you to pay attention to uh, the types of questions that I'm going to ask. So that way you know what, what you're going to be looking at when it comes time for the quiz. And kind of a recap of where we're at. So we ended with the, I can still do notes. You don't need to take these because you have these notes already. But just timeline-wise is what we're looking at. Um, 476 AD, we had Rome fall, so I'll do a circle and a whoop. Uh, and that's really what we'll, you know, concentrate on. I'll probably, I'll probably increase the number of questions uh, a little bit because I do like to have questions from the beginning of the class um, on these because I, I do want to go over it. A little more difficult on distance learning, but still trying to keep it the best we can. Uh, so from this point, we started to look at a couple things. Uh, after the fall of Rome, you'll remember, we left Europe completely. We went to the Middle East. So, you're going to have a lot of questions from the Middle East chapter. Uh, the Middle East chapter is the rise of Islam. Uh, just taking a quick look here as some, some highlights. We'll probably talk about Muhammad being the prophet. Probably talk about his wife, Khadijah. Probably talk about the holy cities of Mecca and Medina. The Quran, which is the holy book. Uh, the five pillars. Going through here, we don't really talk about Sharia law too much. Uh, maybe talk about a caliph and like what the definition of a caliph is. I do have jihad highlighted, which is probably something we'll talk about. Um, I will ask you, again, probably, I don't know because there's a lot of questions, a lot of topics. I don't know which ones I'm going to pick. Uh, but the different denominations, meaning Islam split into two groups, the Shiites and the Sunnis. All of this is in your notes and on the videos, so it's not going to be anything that you don't know or at least we haven't covered or gone over. Um, and from that point, uh, we talked about the spread of uh, Muslims moving across North Africa into Spain, a battle of Tour. Uh, trying to think if there's any other high points that we looked at. Um, maybe astrolabe, we talked about astrolabe and some of their like science and culture and things like that. Um, and that was a that was a run. The the rise of Islam was really a run from, you know, around 630 to around the year 1000 or so. Um, just so just to keep us on track here. Um, and then on the other side, after we got done with looking at a different area in the rise of Islam, um, we went back to what happened in Western Europe after the fall of Rome. And this is what brought us head to head with Clovis, the idea of the church uh, rising up and being very powerful, uh, these Germanic kings uh, and everything they were doing. So uh, back on this side, we'll look at the year around 510. If you don't remember Clovis, Clovis was the first like Germanic emperor or king, not really emperor because that was Roman times. Um, Clovis in 510 joined the Germanic tribes with Christianity, really making a Western Europe tied to Christianity. He was the first one to do it in 510 AD after the fall of Rome, as you can see about 35 years later or so. So we had Clovis, and then we saw people trying to have these kingdoms still. Uh, and from 500, we got all the way to 800. 800, we saw Charlemagne. Might ask you a couple questions about Charlemagne, what his big 
claims were? What did he what did he value more than anything? Hint hint education. Um, you know, he didn't value education more than anything, but he put a big importance on education. Um, around 800, we started to see the um, attacks. We're on the Viking attacks for a couple hundred years, from 800 to 1,000, uh, leading us towards uh, one of our last classes, which was, um, you know, we started looking at countries. England, for example, because after the Viking attacks and other invader attacks, we saw our system of government, feudalism. So we'll probably talk about feudalism. Um, just to give you an idea of terms that might come up, because I'm on the page here. Uh, terms that might come up will be uh, ordeal. I might ask you who the Pope is, head of the Catholic Church. Uh, monks. Monks would always be scribes, and they'd be copying down manuscripts. Uh, females in the Catholic Church are nuns, and they're clergy in the church offices. We did talk about mayors of the palace. We had an, uh, a, a lesson on Pepin and Charles Martel, the hammer. And then Charlemagne after that. Uh, so I might bring them up. I might say who was Charlemagne's father. Uh, the Vikings. Uh, key things for the Vikings. They come from um, Scandinavia. I'm not sure if I put that one. So I'm going to make sure that I do this time. In fact, I'll put it over by the year 800. The Vikings come from... Scandinavia, which is in the Norse, north, and remember, they are the Norsemen. What were they really good at? Sailing, absolutely. Uh, but I might ask you where they come from, and that is Scandinavia. And Scandinavia is a region of the north where Norway and Sweden and uh, parts of Finland as well um, is considered that area. Uh, in feudalism, we saw uh, a lord, a vassal, armored cavalry soldiers are knights, a piece of land was a fief. Uh, chivalry was a code of ethics. They participated in tournaments. Um, we're, we're almost there, guys. Uh, and that's the last class. We talked about common law, common for everyone, the Magna Carta. Uh, I know it was signed in 1215. I might ask you just what year it was signed in. I don't know. We'll see, but it is on your notes. So this is kind of where we're at. So as I put an end to this recap, what's important to understand is what we're looking at. After the fall of Rome, we saw the rise of Islam in the Far East. Islam is going to be fighting with the Eastern Roman Empire as well during those time periods. We're actually going to go back again to around the year 500 and talk about the Byzantine Empire after this, which is, as you already know, what the Eastern Roman Empire is going to come to be known as. Um, so as they're fighting the Byzantine Empire uh, in the West, we start to see these barbarians and this the Dark Ages and medieval times and the coming together of Germanic culture and Roman culture making this new Western Europe. Um, so I think that's it, guys. I mean, the next one's a major test. We'll have, as I said, probably a timeline with pictures and dates. I'll explain it. Probably go 10 to 15 questions. I'll mix in five from, you know, way in the back uh, from the beginning of the year or whenever. Um, but this is where we're going to be at. We're going to be Islam and Western Europe. <laughs> I think that's going to be the majority of the quiz questions. So, on that note, make sure you send me an email. It just says recap um, as we've kind of gone over what we've talked about to this point. It's not really the same as uh, I would like. If we were here, we'd be doing you know, test question quizzes, and I'd just be asking you stuff and asking everyone different questions. But um, you know, we'll keep it as similar as we can to, uh, to, being, to being here and having normalcy. So anyway, get that email sent to me, and I will see you next class for our major test.